I'm just I'm really nervous. I don't know. I'm just really nervous tonight. Now, come on, Doug. You've done hundreds of these shows. This is just a simple case of stage fright. I'm sure you'll get over it. You're a professional. You always do. Well, I know, but it's there's like it's a sold out house. There's going to be a billion eyes out there. And yeah, I just I'm really I just really don't feel very good about this. I don't know. I just feel good. Well, John, I'm sure whatever it is, you'll get over it. I mean, you're a professional. You've always pulled through for us. Just just relax. Just enjoy yourself and have a great time. Sudbury is the home of what is perhaps Canada's most famous national monument. That's right, the Big Nickel. Note the difference in size between this regular nickel and Sudbury's Big Nickel. It's much, much bigger! It's huge! Sir, does it fill you with an overwhelming sense of community pride to know that you're in the city of the Big Nickel? Oh, yes. Here, of course, is the rarely seen dark side of the Big Nickel. Well, Al, before the Big Nickel, uh, I, was, I was not much of a man. It's interesting to note that if the Big Nickel were in fact made of nickel, it would be worth considerably more than a nickel, perhaps even more than a dollar. Hey, Noof, how you doing? Great, how are you? All right, do you have any rules for being on the bus? We don't allow any, uh, any drugs, and uh, we don't have any, uh, any firearms and uh, no Michael Bolton. Tell me, what's, what's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you on the road? Well, I remember one, uh, one moonlit night, uh, just like tonight, I was driving along. It was uh, one of those quiet two-lane roads uh, in Saskatchewan. And uh, I heard, a, I actually heard and felt this thump, thump, thump 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 noise i stopped the bus i went back there opened up the back doors and uh and there like i could see in the moonlight there was like a human head a human head oh! <laughs> uh, can you tell me why are you having a saint patrick's parade two days after saint patrick's day <laughs> i don't know we want to make it last you guys are wacky aren't you <laughs> oh yeah We'll be going for another few days after this. Can you explain to me the impact that a saint from, from Ireland would have on a largely French-speaking community? Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you often get bothered because you look so much like our keyboard player, Ruben Valtiera? Chris Barron from the Spin Doctors. I love all your records, man. Sir, do you think that Jerry Lewis is a genius or just moderately intelligent? A genius. I think he's a genius. It's a genius. A genius. Excuse me, do you, do you speak English? Mm -hmm. Um, bienvenue, escargot, croissant, ménage à toi? Uh, <laughs> Woof. 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 <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Larry, this can't be. We've been, we've been going on, no. Listen, Rover's not going to be happy about this, Larry. And if I have to tell Rover, don't make me tell Rover, Larry. It's too late! I figured as long as the band was stuck here on the bus, I'd take this opportunity to give you kind of a public service announcement and tell you about the four main rules of bus safety. <laughs> Rule number one, always ride on the inside of the bus. No matter how fun it looks, bus surfing is just not a good idea. Rule number two, never, never annoy the bus driver. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Rule number three, be careful of foreign objects when closing the bus door. And rule number four, no horseplay allowed. Play your outdoor games outside the bus. I 
hope these simple rules will be useful for you next time you or one of your loved ones has to travel across Canada in a bus with a big smelly rock band. Wow, that was a nice little trip down memory lane. I remember that stuff like it was just last year. But hey, we're coming at you again real soon with some more live shows, so keep watching much for all the tour dates and details. We're just about out of time. Um, did I forget anything? Did I mention my new album, Bad Hair Day? Okay, just checking. Uh, well, then I guess, I guess that's the end of the show. But, you know, we had some fun. Uh, maybe we even learned a few things. And nobody got seriously hurt. That's the main thing, right, Harvey? Yeah, pal. So until next time, remember, keep your feet on the ground, keep a song in your heart, and keep your hands out of your pants. That's disgusting. Say goodbye, Harvey. I am not an animal. I am not an animal. Yeah! Yeah!